Long, long time ago, a miller who had three sons left his mill and ass and his favorite cat Puss to them after his death. The elder son decided to stay together but abandoned the youngest brother because he all had to offer was a cat. Upset with his brother's treatment, the youngest son wondered how he would acquire food and survive. Just then the cat spoke. Buy me a pair of shoes and a bag. I will bring you food to your plate. Although the miller's son was hard on money, he was amused by a speaking cat and decided to fulfill her demands. With boots on her feet and a bag across her shoulders, Puss set off to a rabbit warren. She stuffed some lectures and parsley in the bag and left it on the ground while hiding for an ambush. As soon as two rabbits went into the bag to feed, Puss shut the bag immediately and captured them. She took them to her new master and he cooked one of them for dinner while Puss kept the other away for the next day. The following morning, Puss returned to the rabbit warren and caught two more rabbits. But this time she took them to the palace. Puss arrived at the palace and requested to see the king on account of having brought presents for him. She bowed in front of king and said that she had come on behalf of her lord, Marcus and Carbus, who had sent rabbit for him to feast on his respect too. The king was very pleased with the gift and asked the puss to let her master know the same. The princess ordered some fine cream for puss and she happily returned to the miller's son, having fed herself. Although the miller's son laughed when puss told him what she has done, she continued doing it every morning. Puss next set out to meet the cruel org who ate children. Everyone was scared of him, but no one had managed to defeat him. Puss asked the org, I have heard you can change into any creature. Is that true? The proud org replied, Yes. Let me show you. The org turned into a lion and roared so fearlessly that Puss jumped into fear. She then asked the org, if he could turn into a smaller creature. On hearing this, the orc changed into a mouse and Puss pounced on him and killed him. One fine morning, Puss asked the miller's son to take a bath in a river and while he was at it, she hid his clothes away. Just as she had expected, the king's carriage was about to pass through that area when Puss called out for help to save his master from drowning. On hearing from Puss that her master, the Marquis of Carbus, had lost his clothes while bathing, the king ordered clothes for Marcus, who had been generously showering him with gifts. Puss took the clothes to the miller's son and asked him to dress in those. The king then offered to take Marcus of Carbus to his home. Puss ran before them to a field of reapers. She told them that if inquired by the king, they must say the field belongs to the Marcus of Carbus, adding, If you dare disobey, I will see to that. You are minced into meat pieces. The frightened reapers agreed to obey. She went further and instructed the other laborers and shepherds the same. All of these fields and cattle belonged to the og in reality, but he was dead. When the king arrived at the field, the reapers indeed said that all this belonged to Marcus of Carbus. The king was highly impressed. Finally, they arrived at the orc's castle. Puss alighted the coach and bowed before the king, welcoming him and the princess to the fine castle of Marcus of Carbus. The king, the princess and the miller's son were astonished by the richness and the beauty of castle. The king had then resolved to marry his daughter to Marcus of Carbus. Later in his court, the preparation for their marriage were underway and the miller's son was happily wedded off to the princess. He had now become a prince. The miller's son could not hold his happiness. 
he was very grateful to the past who with a resourcefulness and cunning means had made him a wealthy royal person from an almost proper post to live the happy life thereafter she got fine meat fish milk and cream she no longer had to hunt for mice and eat from leftover scraps of food for more such stories please subscribe to kidofancy tv